What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Great Britain. So to round off up at last time, we gathered our forces and we pushed out and we took Riga from the Russians and we are now going to resupply our troops and then head southwest to hit Yelgava to consolidate our front. In Europe, we do have a reasonable garrison here at Vilnius to hold off any potential attacks. Once we take Yelgava, I want to move north and hit St. Petersburg and then maybe try and get a temporary peace with Russia. Maybe. In the Americas, we have pushed along and we have the Maratha Confederacy on our shores now, causing problems. As well as... Why should we... Well, we captured Boston from the French, which is nice because now we have a bigger... We have a nice... Uh, well, we've expanded our hold on the west coast of America and now it seems that the 13 colonies aren't going to pop to being ours. We've got this force here moving east to go retake Savannah from the Maratha Confederacy and we also have this force here landing off the coast of Cuba and they're going to maintain siege to see if we can lure these guys to advance to their defense to the west because right now we are pretty low in terms of the old Cacheroni so we need to be need to be careful in terms of our tech we're doing pretty good joint stock companies and puddling furnaces are good techs to go for at the moment so let's hit end turn let the ai respond to our moves spain's gonna spain Yep, they're marching more troops north to try and help with to uh with with help to, uh, to uh, withstand the siege. The Poles have sent uh, ships around to uh, blockade Bristol, which is likely going to mean we do not have any income. So we're likely get, likely going to have zero zero cash in the bank. The Russians are continuing to run around and raid us, and that's okay. see what the Maratha Confederacy are up to. Nothing that we can see. The Mughals aren't getting up to anything. The Danes were actually on the offensive in Sweden, which was pretty neat, because that never normally happens. Courland is being Courland, so we want, we want to go and knock them out of the game. Yeah, we're likely going to have zero income because of the um the blockade of Brist the blockade of Bristol by the Poland Lithuanians. Yep, yeah, there we go. Zero dollars. From a fifth rate in a sloop. So it might even be worthwhile deploying my home fleet in the channel. Could take the fifth rain to our service, we may as well. I might just deploy my fleet Set here sail. to protect the port, although I could do with my. Well, I've got no money to replenish yet, so there's no worries there. Um, let's get you guys. Can't replenish at all, get on the march towards Savannah. I'm okay with these chats marching up because they're mostly a lot of not super great troops. We've got good, we've got some good cavalry to help mow down and eliminate the natives, but we are going to want to be very much on the defensive. Lots of spies. Terence Bacon, which is our admiral over here, he's got some bonuses here. So now I think if I take all of my guys, actually first of all, let's take. This weak, this weakest unit, and do some management like so. If I take you guys and then do something like that, Siege them. that might be enough to knock out Corland quickly. So let's see how Riga has reacted fairly well. Let's actually pick. Get some re re get some um, renovations on the go. Elgarva will give us thirteen hundred in tax, which would be pretty good. So I think it's probably a good idea to rush 
um, rush Corland. They've got a lot of line infantry, which is a bit of a concern, especially considering we are not the best equipped. Um, but we've got, we've got to do it, because if we don't do it, then... Um, well, we need to make some outlandish gains in Europe. Otherwise, otherwise uh, we'll be limping. We will be limping in Europe and we'll be limping in the Americas. And that's not what we want. We want to push and be strong. So we do at least have fire by rank. We will likely need to make significant use of our clansmen. Or am I even probably put my artillery back here I'm going to need to be careful with my infantry because I don't have as much of it as I would like so my clansmen are going to go through the town my cavalry and my general are going to push around the left okay let's do this Fortunately, their mortars are close. Because that means we can rush them fairly quickly. Artillery focus fire on their cavalry to the rear. We've got some reinforcements coming in. These are the troops we left behind in... Riga. Get these men to flank. Go hit the provincial line. They've been decoyed by our cavalry. So now they're not in position to respond to our attacks. If they attempt to charge us, they don't have they don't have bayonets. But I think some close range volley is gonna do some good damage to them. Push on my Push on my clansmen. Fold this flank around. Bring the cavalry round to smash into the militia here. Push you guys up. Guys, push up there. Yeah, there goes the line infantry. You guys set up. Let's bring my regiment of horse back. These guys are actually a bit isolated now. So let's push you guys up to the top of the hill. Push the cavalry up. Maintain momentum. The general's bodyguard, let's get him out of there. New men form squags, we know what's coming in. Our clansmen have broken this, that was a bad idea. Get our cavalry back. Get you guys to push into the garrison militia. Let's bring our general back around. Our 
grenadiers are holding very well. You charge that light infantry unit, you charge them, you all charge that garrison line. You men are going to gut that provincial cavalry unit. Fire lock arm citizenry is going to go down. Get all my artillery to focus on that regiment of foot. You men push against the line. The grenadiers, the first Royal Welch, are holding, holding on strong. Garrison line infantry says they're winning, but I don't see how that could be happening unless they're still counting. Okay, you guys push up here. You guys push on. Organize to open fire on the men as they as they withdraw. These men have pushed onto the militia and they're cutting them open. You guys drop into square. Fear the regiment of horse. You guys form up. You guys are pouring fire into the first. You guys come into the back of this line infantry. You guys line up. Actually, you guys push into the fire lock arm citizenry. You guys push into the back of them. Looks like they are charging once more. Charging into the back of the seventh. So these are armed citizenry and the unit of line infantry. The armed citizenry should fall quickly enough. They're going to be annoying. Sixth regiment. Okay, you guys all charge on to the fourth regiment. They're wavering. You guys were to supposed to charge into the flank here. Big old scrap in the centre here. Line infantry of wavering Brunswickers, you guys have not committed you guys to the fight. Okay, some of you push on to the militia, some of you go this way. You're doing a good job against the general's bodyguard. You may as well try and intercept them. Okay, you guys push up. Bring out my dragoons. They've been destroyed. You guys line up back here. The Brunswickers are in. The 26th are in. The provincial line is upset. My cavalry is attacking their cavalry. The general's dead, so there's no point about hold no point worrying about holding on to him. Try and bring the regiment of horse over. These guys are want to line up ready to deal with the sixth. You men open fire on the eighth. The 
Charge on! There we go. It's been a bloody, bloody battle. But we've... We have managed to claim victory. You units might actually come over here and help support against them. Kill the general! There he goes, he's routed. Okay, are they... Oh, they were wave broken, yes! Look at that. It was extremely bloody storm. Um, but it is a victory nonetheless. And although they don't like us, so for now we need to exempt them from tax. But that's some that's, we've earned some good cash out of that. Well, we should earn a bit more cash. Six thousand next turn. Then we've got you guys are marching towards Savannah. You guys are at Gibraltar. Should be okay. Let's head in turn. You guys are marching north to group up with the forces at Boston. Whew. Yeah, we got a few turns of uh, careful spending. Ooh, the garrison at Cuba are sallying. Let's. Let's cut them to ribbons. So they don't... Well, so that the final battle against the, re the forces that are coming in will be that much that much uh, easier. Because these guys have an actu have actually have a... This is the core of their infantry force. Artillery form the centre of our position. Uh, just pick four infantry. Put them behind trenches. Yeah, these guys behind trenches as well. Pikes are hankered down. Cavalry is going to be waiting to charge out afterwards. Ah. So we can do this. And probably push the pikes over there and all our cavalry onto the right as well. We do have some garrison colonial line infantry. These guys are struggling to climb over barriers. These guys even hopped over and they haven't even got over it yet. To be honest, let's just charge out and meet them. And commit the yeomanry, because most of their forces on the right flank are weak. They're buccaneers and... well, they're both buccaneers. Which the yeomanry are more than capable of felling. The regiment of horse can probably charge the militia. Let's get my general around. Let's push up the line. There we go. Ride in the regiment of force to hit the militia. The Emory have got in. Oh, they lost a handful of men in the last in the last seconds. Garrison colonial lines involved. Let's get our general to escape. Let's 
keep pushing up our line forward to keep the enemy infantry positively disposed to the idea of routing. You go after the buccaneers, you go after the militia, you go after these buccaneers, you guys go after them, that colonial militia. Cut them down. The 15th have something to say to you. They're saying things to the colonial militia. Are oh, they reloading? So there's, only two, there's only one buccaneer left, so that's pretty good. And the buccaneer's dead, so let's charge the colonial line infantry to the rear in the rear, so halt fire, halt my artillery fire. Damn right we're going to continue. Just keep the cavalry occupied, that's the name of the game. You're not going to get that militia unit. You could chase them down. So where's my unit charging the infantry? I mean, you've done a huge amount of damage to them. But you did not kill them. You guys go after the 11th. And you go after the 15th. The other unit can take out the this regiment, well, it looks like they might do it. Four, three, two, one, chomp. There, it's everyone against that unit of militia now. So they're being picked on from the rear by this unit of yeomanry. Although they are probably going to escape. Although they have. No, no, they've still fairly well fanned out to make targeting, to make the uh, pathfinding AI not as good. Yeah, they're going to escape. Oh well. But that was... Decisive was very much the right word. Very much the right word. Look at that, we lost 114 men. They lost almost their entire garrison. Those are the kind of words you want to see. The Russians, I won't be surprised if they pushed on Riga. But if they did, that's okay. I'm just want I wanted Colin. Colin's worth more, and it makes my front line a bit more homogenous. Oh, where are you sailing those men to? Not to mainland Britain, I hope. My fleet could potentially engage them, but then again, I'm pants at the navy side. Hmm. The Mughals need to do some work again. Hey, did the Dutch take Santo Domingo? It looks like they did. Oh, not Santo Domingo. Is it San yeah, Santo Domingo Hispaniola, I think, is the territory. Hmm. And the Barbary States just wasting a bunch of time. <laughs> okay. Okay, we've got some money. Got some good money, but we can, we need to selectively spend it. So the strongest units probably need to go back to Riga to help hold it. Although that really upset them. Now uh, you retrain both your units. You guys 
Okay, do we need to repair the Royal Palace to hopefully try to keep them on site? Let's try and let's dispatch some militia to hold these ports. Uh, sloop, fifth, fifth, and two privateers. Yeah. My guys can bash them about. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. They're all... Oh, they lost one. I'll take your fifth rate. They've sailed back into the Baltic. All the way back to St. Petersburg. So I might send you guys to... Greenwich. For repairs. That'll take most of my money. Hop back over to the Americas. I have to pick little things like this. That I, you know, I currently don't have a farm. Although, roads are also good investments, but road, farms are quite effective, cheap investments. You guys are going to put Savannah under siege and just hold on to it for now. You may have to stay where you are. My fleet is in better shape. Fifth and a brig. You guys go clear out these guys. There we go. Probably push their fifth rate out. But Basil Brindley. Get back to Jamaica. Let's put a unit inside Plymouth just to prevent them from doing anything too annoying. Now we're up to 7,900 next turn, which is good. But I need to just keep pumping up. Keep pumping up my, uh, well, keep spending my money intelligently. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, that's a good reason I'm sending my troops up to Boston then. If they take Falmouth, that'll be good, and I'll just immediately siege them. In lieu of the mechanic absorbing the 13 colonies working, I mean, I mean, I should win that, right? We are <laughs> Even though the, the balance said otherwise. Now might be a good idea to try and, try and make peace with Spain. The Ottomans are storming through Italy. I need to spend my money wisely between both fronts. So you start filtering men out of the Corlan garrison into the Riga garrison. Good. Sweden sailing troops to go attack Russia, hopefully. The Marathas are being sneaky sneaks. I mean, if you try to get to Canada, we'll... Ooh. I mean, we're not... We haven't attacked them yet, so I don't know why... I mean, we're defending, great, but I don't know why we're not... Unless they've just attacked us and there's no animation yet. That must be it. But let's do it. Let's take Savannah back from the clutches of the Marathi Confederacy. Well, we're not taking it back. We are withstanding their, their attack. So they've got camels, which we've got to keep an eye out for. But we've got a good amount of infantry, so I feel fairly secure. Okay, let's get mm, over here. Split my troops up roughly half and half. There. There we go. Cover on each flank. My general is going to have to get involved. go unlimber my guns because what they have in terms of troops we've got Bargier infantry but we've got fire by rank Pindari horsemen camel gunners 
I would like you... Ooh. Hit the Bajia Lancers, because it looks like they're coming after us. Fire round shot. And they missed. Reload of canister shot. Let's bring... Let's bring a horse into position. Have they got an organ gun? My men are all going to fire. Now the lancers. In which case then you guys start to shoot. No, don't shoot. All of you guys just get into square. No, don't shoot them now. There we go. We've lost a handful of men. Extra men. There. Okay, let's let's rotate my line like so. Bring up the cavalry. We've got camel gunners. They're the things I don't like. Where are the camel gunners? Looks like they're hidden. They might come back because there's still quite a lot of them left. You might want to switch to switch to uh, canister shot and get ready to engage the Marathas. The Marathas. Let's pivot these guys so they actually do some good work. Yeah, the Lancers have come back. Oh. Camels are still hiding at the back. I mean, you've attacked me, so... I don't quite know what you're... expecting me to do. Let's actually hit that unit of Pindari horsemen instead. Fire! Well, they've led the target. Well, they nearly hit that particular guy. These guys look like skirmish cavalry. So my men aren't going to form square. They're just going to sit here firing their weapons. Actually, you guys are going to keep reloading round shot. Cannons are pushing up. So my artillery is going to switch to round shot, focus on the camel gunners. My general is going to push up, my cavalry is going to push up. So they fired. Yep, they're just firing conventionally. Actually, my artillery might focus on the nearer... Actually, no, do focus the camels. You guys can't shoot. So advance, the 34th are wavering on the flank. There we go. There goes the 28th. There goes their camels. Still under fire from... Oh, they're shattered now. That's perfect. You guys... Get up on the flank. There. I don't want to commit my general too much, because they might cause problems. Well, I mean, if I, if I overextend, the problem is I might end up overexposing some of my units and taking unnecessary casualties. There's cavalry that's coming in. You men, 
get into square formation. My general hunker down where he is. Bring my regiment of horse up. Maybe drop you guys into square as well. They're committing their cavalry though. Just make sure these guys, these guys stay in square. So you guys chase down those mercenaries. Staying square, you men hit the Bajir Lancers. This regiment of horse go hit that unit of infantry mercenaries. The Lancers have routed. Counter charge them here with this cavalry. Good damage to them here. Get you guys out of square and engaging. And the general can just chase down those mercenaries and still do some good damage. My cavalry is going to push th push through this combat. Nineteenth, you're upset. I want you guys to push through and hit their guns. You men angle like so so the mercenaries don't chase down my cavalry. You guys are going to open up against the Pindari horsemen till they die. Okay, Regiment of Horse, commit to fight the Bajir infantry. The general's been killed. Artillery, just stop firing. You men are going to chase down and kill their artillery. These are quite an elite unit of unit of Indian mercenaries, but then again, there isn't many of them left. So I want to at least destroy their artillery. So you men just keep trying to do damage to their infantry. You guys kill their gun crews. He's down here if you want to kill him. Damn it. God damn, we're going to continue. Let's just speed up time. Uh, you guys chase down those mercenaries. There we go. So now that almost the whole Maratha garrison has been destroyed, you guys both work on the 4th Dakili Bajir infantry. Fifty-four remaining, thirty-nine, twenty-seven, twenty-six. There's a couple of units up here that let's so say they are going to route successfully. So you men ah there's only fifteen of them, you should be more than capable of the task. There we go, close victory. Nope, that went perfectly. That went exactly how I wanted it to go. Nice one, Marathas. You did good, kid. So, as I beef up my forces near Boston, I do well, I do need to start recruiting some men there this turn. So when the French attack that territory from the 13 colonies, I can then march in and attack it. So that's going to be my main hope, because that mechanic hasn't popped and I'm not getting the territories that other units or other factions attack them, take them, and then I capture them back. That ends up being the better option. The French destroyed those pirates for me. That was very useful. Diplomacy, Spain. Peace and trade. Not just peace. Fine. So you can repair the governor's barracks, and then let's do some selective recruit retraining of our weakest units we're not so bothered about pushing out yet Lord? i mean you guys are gonna we've pretty much fought that battle we're gonna take that back i mean that's super annoying probably march you all out though and immediately take it 
immediately fight these guys just to make sure they do die. Get back to Savannah. Yeah, they're only minus one. Fix the governor's residence. Again, do some selective recruiting here of the weakest units. I mean, the cherry. You guys should should be settling down now. You guys push up to Boston, although your barracks is broken. But it's not a bad overall combination of forces. What have they got? Militia and pirates. Okay, it's not so bad. Um, I might get another school here in Boston. Actually, no, school is not a priority. Why did I do that? What is a priority? Things like roads. Because right now we've got buckets of things to spend money on. What's our best resource? Spices, which we can't... Okay, tobacco. Tobacco is the one to look at. So we've got coffee, cotton, cotton. Got some tobacco. Let's get rid of that communal farm. Well, let's get some tobacco added to the queue. We've got some money for some roads if we if we can buy if any region region only has basic roads. There we go. Or doesn't even have basic roads, I should say. Okay, let's see if you pikemen can leave. You can. Good. So you men can march up to the front as well. Can the cavalry leave? Yes. Can the in this infantry leave? Down to minus one. That's okay. They'll complain a bit. Actually, you guys then could probably stand to go up. Well, they may as well combine down here. And let's upgrade this farm. So when this army's done some more replenishing, it can push out and clear out Cuba. Yeah, no provinces has Santo Domingo. That's pretty dope. Um. Okay. I mean, I have spent all my money without even doing anything over here can i recruit <laughs> retrain anything with that's these meager funds the answer is no you are staying Königsberg. if they want to push we will fight them off especially as the the, pol the poles look like they're going to be removed from the game by the Prussians. I mean, Prussia is getting pretty strong right now, so it's a bit of a concern. But let's hit N10. So the French have taken that territory near Boston. Ah, obviously, the one time I leave my port unblocked, unblock, unprotected. But it does mean that when we attack them, we can destroy their uh, we can destroy their fleet that's embarked that has an embarked army all at one all at once. And it's a good job I sent them to Greenwich to be repaired. Yet Poland has been destroyed. So the Vilnius garrison can fairly reliably march southwest to destroy those Russians. Sweden. Oh, I thought Sweden might go for St. Petersburg. If Sweden went for St. Petersburg, then that'd be it. I would. That would be the end of my adventures. Well, not the end, but you know, no real expansion. Barbary states going to Barbary. But I don't think they're going to do anything to. Well, they're not going to do anything annoying to us, or at least not very annoying to us. I mean, frustrate the French as much as you like. Looks like the Spanish have just taken Lisbon, which means Portugal is done for. In come the pirates to be back on form. Hey, we actually have m actually made money, even though our port was blockaded. I mean, lots of not very good ships. Let's take you all. Less the sloops. Go fight Mr. Ambroise, Ambroise Ruel. Smash. Yeah, we'll take your 6th rate. 
So they lost that embarked army as well, which is rather nice. So let's just set you out here. Trey gained a good listener. That was my spy. Natural causes. Isaac Newton. No! Okay, I've upgraded a farm in Michigan Territory. You men combine. It looks like this guy's now felt emboldened to do something. So let's recruit a militia unit, but then let's take this army. Lay siege to Falmouth, because if we don't do it, they will attack us. And you're too far away to directly help with that effort. So let's just bring you guys, combine you these men together. Try and do some replenishment. It's only our general we can replenish. Let's try again to try and make peace and trade with Spain. Sometimes, you know, the AI does accept it. Workers are on strike in Cherokee territory, but they've got over it. They're also on strike in Georgia and they've got over it. Agent executed. Ah, they found our guy. Okay, so these men that are now at full strength More order. leave, and get over to Riga. Well, now we know there's no Russians immediately on our border to worry about, we can bring you guys out to go hit Gardinas to go and destroy these embarked Russian dogs. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.